Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. We're back on Yukon River Valley again, and today we are looking at how you can produce gold. So this is a two-step process. Uh, to start with, we are at the dirt washing facility. And basically what you need to operate this is three inputs, which will provide you with two outputs. Now, the inputs are diesel, water, and in this hopper here, you drop in dirt. Now, um, it probably goes without saying, you need quite a lot of dirt to discover not a lot of uh, gold. Um, it's kind of practical in that in that sense, because obviously the gold sells for a lot of money, but you do not make that much of it. But it, it's still a very lucrative exercise and well worth doing. Now, as with all global companies' uh, factories, um, you need to be able to access the menu using G. Now, there's two options here. You could pull a truck up, fill up with water, fill up with fuel. Um, now, for the benefits of this, these are already fill, filled for me. But also, you can click on your diesel or you can click on your water. Uh, max out that or add little elements to this and buy it yourself. So, uh, there's the options there. Um, as you can see, there's digital readouts. So, if you are... Uh, if you fill this with water, you'll be able to see how much is in there and how much is left. Same with the diesel, and also same with the dirt. As you can see, zero in there at the moment. So, what we really need to get this started now, if we've got our fuel and we've got our water, we just need some dirt. So let's go and get that dirt. Now, one of the great things about discovering this map and uh, the mining economy within Farming Sim has been uh, discovering new equipment. And... Uh, I have to say, uh, it's not as a mature market as uh, the farming side of things. Obviously, it's a farming simulator. Um, so there aren't as many well-polished and well-finished mods out there in the in the mining community. Uh, but actually, somebody who I've really uh, been super impressed with and his, his mods stand out uh, against uh, a lot of the others is 4MR Modding. I'm going to put his... Uh, uh, Facebook page in the links in the description definitely worth going and checking him out if you want some really top quality uh, mining mods so we've got some just ludicrously big equipment here uh, for excavating and moving dirt so uh, we'll load up our trailer here and uh, we will uh, see you in a second So there you go. Um, still getting used to that. It's, uh, it's a bit of an art form working that with the, my controls. Uh, but now that's done, we can jump into this thing, which carries, I kid you not, 300,000 litres. So there we go. We're running it back from the excavator here. Now it does not tip straight into the hopper, as you uh, may not be surprised due to the size of it. What we can do is unload it here and uh, we will have a digger that will uh, remove it for us. So let's unload this. This thing's massive, I swear. I put a picture of this next to uh, a quad track in our Discord and it raised quite a few laughs. So like I said, not ideal that you can't tip it straight into the hopper. Now you could use a conveyor belt here, I guess, uh, but we're just using another digger here using this lovely cat model again another 4MR modding mod which is lovely so we will drop this into here and it will fire up the uh, washer so we'll just put another load in here as well so there we go we can see we've got some dirt in there 50,000 litres we have our fuel we have our water, you can hear this running now. Now, we have tested this already, so the outputs you get from here are uh, tailings, which is what you see here. Now this is used in concrete and cement production, so we've got factories for both of those on the map here, so 
again um, the outputs are usable elsewhere and the other thing is concentrate now we've obviously I've run a few tests on this before I've done this video but what I'm going to do now uh, what you need to do with global companies is you need to spawn the concentrate when it's done so if you go into the dirt wash plant open the overview menu uh, there is your outputs um, and it will tell you how much is there so you can click uh, maximum as what we've done there we can remove what we'll do is we'll just take one pallet for what we need now because it's just a demonstration go back and you will see that you have your pallet of concentrate now if you look inside it see the sparkles in there there might be some gold in there so 25,000 litres what I will say with this a little skid steer or a or a telescopic loader will not pick this up this weighs a lot 25,000 litres so make sure you've got a suitable uh, piece of equipment to pick it up so even this thing the size of this watch the rear wheels I mean it's literally on the verge of uh, being too heavy for this as well but what we'll do now we will run this down to the gold production point so what happens here is this is where uh, it's sorted and turned into gold bars I actually have another um, pallet sitting here already but what we'll do this is one of your three inputs again so we just need to roll over here it should take this in here if we drop it off I'm trying to work out yes there we go you see it's just taking it there so 25,000 litres of uh, concentrate. Now we still need to put fuel and water into this. So we've got a water tank here. So we'll fill it up with water. So here we are with our fuel tank. This is um, the IBM tank that you can pick up from the mod hub. So again, we just need to pull this close to our generator. There we go fill up with fuel and that is all three of our uh, required inputs done in here it will be processing away so we just have to wait a little while as you can see the light is on we've got zero here so nothing's come out yet so it's a case of just waiting so we'll skip forward time again and uh, we'll be back so there we go, um, we actually added another case of concentrate in here uh, to speed things up a little bit uh, so you could see a little bit more. So there we go, 8,522 litres of gold. I'm not sure how they measure it in litres, but what we need to do now is need to go into global companies again, open the gold processor. It tells us what we've got here. Uh, maximum, we don't have much, but uh, that allows to spawn one pallet. Now if I go back here, there you go, 5,000 litres of gold. Um, I don't know what that weighs, it's going to be interesting to see if this can pick it up. But um, there you go, that's how you create gold. Now just jumping into here, there's your gold price there. As you can see, per 1,000 litres, um, you can get some pretty good prices here, so 14 12,000 um, you can sell at a number of places now the nearest place we can sell is pallet sales now the price is probably the best one there um, so we're going to take this pallet and we're going to sell it there just to see how much we get for a uh, for a load for a full crate okay so here we are we're just arriving at pallet sales we'll head down here um, it's it takes a while to get anywhere on this map, it really does. Uh, I do like that about it. They seem to be pogoing a bit in the ground. Must be the weight of the gold. But we'll um, we'll pull in here, and I just want to demonstrate just how much money you get. So, there is a sawmill here. Uh, as per the one we've done in our other video. But also, I do believe around the other side is a pallet sales point. Um, again, just lovely, lovely layout and detail. So the, yes, this point here, you can sell your gold at. So I think I just pull over it. It should disappear. There you go. And then we go 77 
thousand pounds from one crate of gold. Not bad return, to be honest. Not bad at all. So there you go. That's another factory on Yukon River Valley covered. And gold, I'm pretty sure, is one that you were all very interested in. So we'll head back to the gold fields. Uh, we will keep digging. And I will say thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And I hope you have some fun on Yukon River Valley uh, making your fortune. So from me, for now, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.